All right, y'all, so I got the 06 in the driveway. Got the jack and the jack stands. <clears throat> about to jack her up, get her on the stands, get the wheels off. And pull this bar off, pull the battery out. Start getting everything disconnected. And start getting her pulled apart. So y'all stay tuned and I'll keep you guys updated as I make some more progress. All right, you guys, so I got the car up on jack stands. Got the front wheels off. Started getting the some stuff taken apart. So I think I'm about to I pop the trunk. I'm about to pull the battery out and start uh, getting the the body harness undone from the fuse box. So I can just set the fuse box on top of the engine. I got to disconnect the fuel line, the heater hoses, the radiator hoses, and the transmission cooler lines. <clears throat> The brake booster vacuum and then just some wires and it's pretty much it I can have this out in a couple hours so hopefully I can have everything disconnected ready to come out tonight and then in the morning I can just plop it out of there start getting everything disconnected and cleaned up and go from there so now stay tuned I'll keep you guys updated as I make some more progress on the 06 all right you guys so I've been working on the 06 for about 30 45 minutes so i've got the fuse box out battery out got the dog bones off i've got everything disconnected from the fuse box just got the engine harness thrown over the engine uh, i've got to get the radiator hoses disconnected i've got to get the heater hoses disconnected i got to get the fuel line the power steering lines um the ac compressor <sighs> it's coming though I'm making progress, so y'all stay tuned, and I'll keep you guys updated. All right, you guys, so made some more progress. We got the computer out, got the coolant all drained, got uh, both the radiator hoses disconnected, got both the heater hoses disconnected, got the computer flopped over the engine, started disconnecting uh, some of the harness. I've still got to get the power or the transmission cooler lines. I still got to get the power steering lines, which I'm probably just going to pull the belt off and unbolt the pump because that's what I normally do so I don't make a mess. And I got to get the fuel line and I got to unbolt the AC compressor lines, which sucks because it is charged and vacuumed and shit. And it but, blows cold. Well, this one's not. Well, like not it, it blows all right, but then it makes a car die. That's true. <clears throat> so... I don't know, I might end up swapping that compressor out with a different one before I put the engine back in. But hopefully, it'd be nice if I could get this thing pulled out tonight, and then that way I could start tearing the top end off and start getting it torn apart and getting it ready for all the gaskets. I mean, it doesn't look like anything's bad, but something's got to be going on with this motherfucker. It's either in the engine or in the radiator, something. But, I mean, it seemed to be draining out fine. The coolant coming out was actually, like, I mean, there was a bunch of oil and gunk in here. But the coolant was looking decent, like, without all the oil residue in there now. But it wasn't like all that orange nastiness like it was before whenever I did the flush. And that was only like a month ago. And ever since then, I've had nothing but problems with this car overheating and dying. So, I'm getting this thing figured out. I'm getting it. So, I'm going to keep working on it, and I'll keep you guys updated. Alright, you guys. So, we made a little more progress. Got a little bit more disconnected. Disconnected the AC line. and So, I can't um, unbolt the AC compressor. Because the line is in the way. There's a big long 18 millimeter bolt. Right behind this line. And you cannot unbolt it. Without disconnecting the lines. There is no way around it. And I don't have an AC machine. So. It is what it is. But I'm pretty sure this AC compressor is bad. Anyway. So I'm probably going to end up replacing that one. With another one. <clears throat> but. Overall. Everything's going pretty good so far so uh i think the only thing that's left is the transmission cooler lines 
and the transmission mount and the engine mount and she should be ready to pull out so <clears throat> everything's coming along great fuel lines disconnected pretty much all the harness is disconnected uh, I just got to finish removing the AC line from the compressor and then get those uh, trans cooler lines and pretty, and I'll probably have to unbolt the master cylinder because it gets in the way of the trans but she getting there she's getting there so I'll stay tuned I'll give you guys another update here shortly all right you guys so we made a lot more progress I've got this axle out over here got the strut out on both sides this axle is out I've got the top two bolts out of the transmission mount bracket so I can get to these two with the impact and a socket and they'll just zip out so I don't even have to fuck with this mount here or the plate if I don't want to but <clears throat> so this side's ready I just got to get the trans cooler lines undone and then over here on the other side the shut is out it's over there and so I just got to get this axle popped out and then she's pretty much pretty much ready to come out other than the transmission cooler line so y'all stay tuned and I'll give you guys another update here shortly all right you guys so we've got both axles disconnected that one I just left the, boot, the cup in there because I couldn't get it to pop out <clears throat> but this one I got removed I got all the all four of the bolts out of that transmission mount bracket and I can get those other two from the top if I want to just to get it out of the way I got the master unbolted so it can swivel over out of the way um, I got the transmission cooler lines disconnected got the power steering pumps unbolted AC lines disconnected got all the battery cables and everything got the ground disconnected unplugged everything so she's pretty much ready to come out so uh, I think I still got to get that rear O2 sensor plug and snake the wire back up here but other than that she's ready to come out so y'all give me a few and I'll give you guys another update here in a minute all right you guys so we got to take a, a food break went up to McDonald's and got some food something to drink gave us some more energy and my dumb ass forgot to disconnect the exhaust so had to get under there disconnect the exhaust and that rear o2 sensor and we got her out thanks to david he's been a huge help but we got the engine and trans out so now i just jacked it up i'm gonna get it off jack stands i put the struts back in and just bolted the wheels front wheels back on with just a couple of lug nuts on both sides just so I can get off jack stands and I'm gonna roll it backwards and so that way I can power wash all this fluid and trans fluid and uh, Freon and I'm gonna power wash this engine bay out again just clean it up and yeah get all this cleaned up so that in the morning everything's all nice and clean and nice and dry give me a good clean workspace oh it's leaking trans flirt everywhere Oh well, not much I can do about it. So, I guess I'll have to uh, power wash over here too. Great. But, alright, I'm about to get this thing set on the ground and roll backwards and then I'll give you guys another update. Uh, so, just power washed off the engine. I made sure not to spray the uh, computer. So, I just wanted to spray off that diff cover and just kind of clean up the engine a little bit. Spray it down. Spray it off the jack and the jack stands. Sprayed down the driveway again, sprayed down the engine bay, came out looking pretty decent. I mean, you can definitely tell all this up here isn't super great and black and everything, but it's all right. She's good for now, so uh, probably going to just let this roll back forwards once I move this power washer and the jack stands out of the way. I'm going to roll back forwards some. And then uh, I'll probably just let it sit overnight and then in the morning I'll throw it back on jack stands. So, all right, you guys. So, I've got the engine and trans set back over here. It's just hanging right now. So, I guess the first thing to getting all this torn down is got to remove the harness. 
everything that connects to the transmission. But in this case, since I'm going to be tearing the engine down and doing all new gaskets on the engine from the heads up and all the upper and lower intake and injector O-rings, swapping the heads, <coughs> swapping the timing cover and the timing chain with that roll master single roller and just getting this thing ready to go. And I'm going to be swapping out that AC compressor with a different one. So in this case, I'm going to be removing the whole... A harness from the whole engine but if you're just doing a transmission swap then you're just going to need to remove whatever's connected to the trans so it's going to be this ground because that's on a bell housing bolt um, you got this ground you got this plug here that goes into the trans there uh, I guess you could just undo that clip that just holds the harness and then after that all of this should just flop over onto the engine and then you just got one two three four and then the fist bell housing bolts back here it's called the bitch bolt <clears throat> so there's five bell housing bolts and then you've got this bracket over here on this side so you're gonna have a couple of bolts going here and then you might even have another one going down to the oil pan if you have the aluminum oil pan <clears throat> And then you've got a couple going into the transmission uh, diff cover. So, yeah, you have to get that mount undone. And then you have to unplug the speed sensor because it's part of the engine harness. And you're removing the transmission from the engine. Alright. And then other than that, you'll have to pull the starter out. And get the... Uh, flex plate to torque converter bolts so there's three of them they're 18 millimeters the two starter bolts are 15s and then you got this 10 on this dust shield and yeah but so i'm gonna go ahead and start getting all this uh taken apart i gotta get all this harness off and get the starter pulled out and i'll give you guys another update so y'all stay tuned all right you guys so it's gonna take me but like 10 or 15 minutes and I got all the harness undone. So it's pretty simple. So you leave the, the crank and the cam sensor. You leave this sub harness on here that goes with the coils. You unplug it here. You unplug your injectors, front and rear, uh, throttle body, the coolant temp sensor plug, uh, your O2 here, your speed sensor, the rear knock sensor, the uh, oil pressure sensor, <clears throat> EGR, the purge solenoid, throttle body, uh, AC compressor, front knock sensor, oil level sensor, and that's pretty much it. So not too bad like i said it didn't take very long and i just left the the computer and everything and the whole starter see all the starter wires are still on there i just unbolted the starter and just left everything connected on the starter so now it's we're stripped of the full harness so next thing's next i can either start taking off this mount and get the plug wires off or i can start disconnecting the engine and trans so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get my, my 18 out of the trunk. And that way I can go ahead and get these three 18 millimeters going from the flex plate into the torque converter. <clears throat> and I'll have to get to 24 so I can spin the crank pulley around. And then go ahead and get the trans disconnected. It's pretty simple, so especially with it out. And yeah, you can see how how clean that diff cover is it's a lot nicer than that other one so and I'll reuse that red bracket too but hell yeah coming together making lots of progress so I guess I'm gonna get my 18 and a couple of extensions and start getting this uh, engine and transmission unmarried so y'all stay tuned and I'll give you guys another update alright y'all so I've got the transmission 
unmarried from the engine. Like I said, it was really simple. Once you get the, the engine harness off, it's literally just five bolts. One, two, three, four. The back one's five. That one's just like a, a pin like this just to help seat the transmission. <clears throat> so I went ahead and sprayed it down with some uh, degreaser back here and down here in the front so I can spray that down with the power washer again just to get it a little bit cleaning up the block you know in the pan so but making lots of progress got those out got the uh, uh, flex plate bolts out 318s it was super simple super easy and then once I got everything disconnected I just set it down and then whenever I started jacking the engine back up, it just like came apart by itself. So it was super simple, super easy. But yeah, I've got to end up having to pull that diff cover off and that cup since it's the one that goes with the axle in there. And I don't know, I was hoping some more people would comment on the last video and say whether I should swap to the HD diff or just put this cover on. So I guess I'm just going to put the cover on and use this... Uh, original cup I had in there <sighs> but it is what it is it's pretty easy to to swap that to HD diff if I ever want to once I go turbo and like I said if, once I go turbo if I get a cam I'm gonna have to pull the engine back out anyway so I can get a double roller and extra thick timing cover and do some other stuff but for now the parts I have will go great. It'll match the red coils. It'll match the red bracket. And it'll be a red timing cover. And I was thinking about painting one of the intakes red. <clears throat> so, I don't know. I guess we'll see. So, yeah. Y'all stay tuned and keep you guys updated. Alright, you guys. So, got the engine moved over here. Trans is over here. Kind of got everything picked up. I just set some stuff up here on the hood. I'm about to make a quick trip run. I need some energy drinks so I can stay up. So I'm gonna take my uh, impact battery and go get it turn on the charger. So that way it can be charged for whenever I get back. And then uh I went ahead and threw the car battery on the charger just so it can be charged up as well because it did seem a little weak. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, doing all this work really helps out and getting you know, the whole gasket set done and swapping the heads and all that I really really hope it it works and helps this out so uh, I guess stay tuned and I'll give you guys another update whenever I get back from quick trip with some energy and start tearing this thing apart